Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are discussing about uh, web, web auctions as well as uh, portals. Let us commence uh, with uh, web auctions. It's basically how we are going to find out uh, the auctions. We, in a Lemon language, we can call it as a bidding also, correct? So here, the auction will be played a major role in this particular website activities just to pull their uh, uh, regular amount of protocol into uh, global activities. So where uh, web auctions are basically associated with respect to buying of uh, that much of space and uh, that particular bidding activity is going to take place for uh, products via internet. So that particular location, what we are going to find out are geographical areas, virtual auctions, virtual biddings are going to take place. So what exactly this thing is all about? So how it is being correlated to the business activity? That's the biggest question. When you're going to find out uh, the virtual auction communities, yes, it's a gathering of uh, individuals where uh, they are going to share the internet protocol which is available currently. And uh, basically, the space which is available virtually that has to be shared among a group of people or also maybe that has to be hold managed by one of the individual company but at the same amount of time the question is going to get raised as like uh, how we can go for managing the complete amount of uh, cloud computing by one company that's the reason we are going to sell a small portion of that cloud computing to individual companies. That online technology may go for helping us in terms of uh, managing the security concerns, in terms of uh, managing the, our routine work in the cloud. I hope now you are realizing the fact with respect to web auctions. So the second point we are about to discuss today is about uh, portals. Basically questions are going to get raised that uh, so what exactly these portals are all about and uh, how these portals can be commercialized. Basically web based portals can be subscribed, can be accessed, can be Put with the user's profile. Maybe I can go for taking the Google is one of the server which is offering even portal services also. Maybe I can go for naming it a Gmail. So it is almost just like uh, individual independent users are associated and they are using that particular subscribed. Correct? So that is subscribed service what we are using. Maybe when you are going to connect with the Google Drive, that 15 GB of data, whatever it is available, that is subscribed service by us. If it exceeds that 15 GB, then we need to pay to Google. Correct? Because Google has purchased that much of cloud computing space in web auction. We got the connectivity now, correct? So, how exactly these uh, functions of portal is going to take place? Yeah, basically it is going to start with the uh, content presentation. It is very much clear the portal is going to consist of a certain amount of content where that particular content only can be included in that particular mode of portal. Okay, because restricted activities are going to get associated. 
now the question is going to get raised uh, sir uh, uh, why can't we use this particular uh, gmail for uh, sending any kind of uh, mp4 videos can't we send can we yes these are all the questions i want to get raised but uh, can we share it through google drive correct yes we can so how all these things can be possible content presentation again the answer is content presentation so now you understood there is a nature of that particular portal what it should get address that is being defined okay second thing is about user profiling so how exactly user profiling is going to be used here full speaking user profiling it is for the purpose of customization of your routine activities one thing as well as uh, unknown person should not access your data correct there should be a security key that's the thing what we people have discussed uh, encryption decryption correct coding of your all activities should be there so user profiling should be involved then only that coding can be happened very easily and the third point is about personalization so what kind of personalization or customization can be made here maybe people have observed uh, uh, youtube whatever you the videos you have accessed over there in youtube the recent one that will come into the top priority recently watched because it is going to showcase your preferences in a sense youtube consists of millions billions of videos in spite of that also your priority will be there on some so and so maybe i can go for naming it as such like a, a professor joshi lecture videos somebody has accessed maybe it is available in the youtube channel where uh, if you want to subscribe that that's going to be regular at the same amount of time even though if you are not subscribed at least that is going to showcase you are interested in education sector and all the educationalists videos will be preferred correct that is to be called as personalization and the last point is about collaboration yes collaboration is almost like whatever the uploaded even about uh, accessible editing every amount of uh, activity is supposed to be collaborated in the portal functions then only that will be easier task to all the clients to access to view even in case if any kind of changes required that feedback can be given by somebody to the owner or host of that particular portal i hope now you understood the functions of portal so the next topic is about portal techniques yes i'm going to start reading it out uh, the portal techniques basically content management that's the thing what we have discussed so what kind of content this portal should consist of you need to define that so you are defining what it consists of that will be there in directories so that directory it is as like a telephone directory name of the person contact number of the person expectations of the person correct so a number of listing you are going to make it with a column as well as row wise and you are going to put it into your directories then about a markup language tools maybe recently uh, that is uh, uh, amazing amount of uh, changes been taken place in indian technological aspect is about uh, arogya setu app 
billions together of people they have downloaded arogya setu app when prime minister has announced it to install in their android as well as the uh, apple mobile phones so within few minutes so many downloads of arogya setu app has been taken this so what exactly all is about i'm not talking about your prime minister i'm talking about uh, the language tools that arogya setu app is associated 13 different languages you can access it correct so extensible markup language tools you need to identify over there even about search tools do you have that search option that's a question maybe if the content is less maybe you need not to have a search tools option but if content is more it is quite required automated the classification engines now the question is going to be raised so whether this arogya setu app is available in google yes that's one of the search engine which is available play store yes maybe it is restricted to only two possibility is there correct because some other search engines which is being owned or else hosted by some other countries may not encourage this app because this is this app is restricted to india now you got the clarity here okay so classification engines that you need to define where you would like to put this portal and your content catalogs so we have already prepared directories do we need to prepare content catalogs yes it is required see directories is all about each and every wording assume that uh, uh, i would like to search one of the word concerned with the portal is one of the term it is going to be acting as like a dictionary okay so it is going to showcase as such like uh, it, this particular terminology is available in somewhere around 64 different pages you can access but uh, content catalog is almost such like exactly that portal technique that is available in page number 53 where you can access very easily correct so here dictionary or directory is different content catalog is different so it is almost just like a table of contents what major headings are associated that is content catalog correct so with this particular note we are going to end up for today's session and uh, tomorrow we are going to discuss about uh, business benefits of portals thank you so much to everyone uh let us get back to attendance